once here again will be my commands in all time. I see both of you neighbors, so that's great. That's anything below, anything below, right. will be a low blow. Okay? Any questions? Shake hands and good luck. You can make an argument Holyfield's offense was better and busier his last fight, the rematch with Lennox Lewis. Which Holyfield will we see tonight? A more active, aggressive one or a slower, less energetic one? John Ruiz, look at He's ready to pounce out. Usually starts fast. Aggressive, straight-ahead fighter. Not much side to side. Has power. Best weapon, left hook, right uppercut combination. Here we go. Steve, the first two rounds of this fight is the monster. The guy that sets the tone, as Ruiz is trying to do, Gets the play. Ruiz immediately digging to the ribs of Holyfield. No warning. Great. Step back. Step back. Ruiz did come out fast. <laughs> Ruiz sticking the jab, landing the rights and left, going to the body. Ruiz is working Great. that right hand to the body back. an awful lot very early. early. He said he needed to throw a barrage. To smother right, Holyfield with combinations. But the key to establish the jab. He said he had to watch out for Holyfield's left, left hook. And Holyfield right now is just letting him get that energy out, letting Ruiz work early and, and trying to right, gauge him. I think gauge his strength, gauge his power, gauge his speed. And you're going to see a burst from Holyfield. I know you will. Ruiz immediately testing the previously damaged left rib cage of Holyfield. No holy. Oh. And Holyfield with some wrestling tactics just throwing, spinning Ruiz away into the corner. No holy. Holyfield feels he hasn't right, lost right, anything right. as far as strength, no but perhaps right in his quickness. Now Holyfield coming back with hard left uppercut. Come on, put your arms back. Put him back. Put him back, Vander. Great, step back, step back. Have a job for Richard Steele. Oh, right. Ruiz Step doing back, a nice job back. with that left jab, looking to set up the overhand right. Holyfield right now looking a little bit slow. No real snap to his punches. And not throwing many at all, Steve. Well, Ruiz looking to get, to get out. the early right. respect of Evander Holyfield, and it seems like it's working. Well, I know he's got his attention because he's in his face every second. Here's that good. Shotgun jab again right in the head by Ruiz. Ruiz with a snappy left hook, follows it up with the right hand, and again continues to score. The jab is working perfectly for John Ruiz. He's not only getting in with the jab, closing the gap, getting inside, he's scoring with it. Now the fans getting behind Holyfield. Right, step back, step back. Ruiz winning round one. Scoring effectively. Left hook there to the jaw. Short snappy punches no by Ruiz. No Great. Step back, Final step seconds back, step of round one. A very good opening round for the relatively unknown John Ruiz. You gotta use the jab more. You gotta use the jab more. You gotta match it. It's gonna be a very physical fight early on, a lot of wrestling. This is an attrition type match. Tangling arms, holding on the inside. Vander tying up Ruiz, and it's not uh, not the cleanest of uh, clinches. Watch the jab of Ruiz. One, two. Those two weren't the two most effective ones, but he comes back. Three. And landing. Holyfield offering up nothing. There's a hook. Another jab, a double jab. Ready to set up the right hand. Constantly working in, pushing Holyfield back. Holyfield's power is significantly lessened when he's moving backward. He can't jump in with that 221 pounds. Round one, reminiscent of the Holyfield Vaughn Bean fight. Round two begins. And Ruiz again comes out in aggressive fashion. Part of Ruiz's strategy in round one was to back Holyfield up into the ropes with that effective jab or by force if he had to. And Ruiz got the job done. Oh, he's working more. Coming, throwing the punch as much more readily now. Straight 
right hand to the head by Holyfield. An nice open hand right by John Ruiz. Ruiz jumping on Holyfield and again backing him into Break, the ropes. Step back, step back. Again, a jab. He's got that jab in Holyfield's face. Holyfield can't leave with those big hooks when he's got a jab in his face. You know, they're cheering in Chelsea right now. It's been nearly non-stop action since the opening bell. Not many lulls. Now Holyfield goes to the double up in the jam. Ruiz has answers for just about everything, Bobby. Well, you know, no he's no prepared hold. for this fight. This is his whole lifetime. And again, that ghost of David Tua was haunting him. And it's really, there's a, there's a shove to the ground. Not a punch, he just kind of threw him to the ground. Don't push him, no don't knock hold down. Him. Holyfield holding and pushing. That's why Ruiz went down. And he gets cautioned by Richard Steele. Ruiz no stopped hold. working that right hand to the body. First round was very Work effective. Nice right uppercut to the jaw by Ruiz. And that snapped Holyfield's head back. And then he sticks that stiff left jab in on the face of Holyfield. Punch your way out. No holding. This is a very physical fight. Tough. Keep your body oh, right break, and everything back, correct. Back, you know, wrestling and pulling Don't on arms. Spinning. Don't spinning. Grabbing, pulling on shoulders. Very, very wear and tear type fight. Ruiz like an octopus all over Holyfield. Hasn't let up. A lot of pressure. There's a big right hand by John Ruiz. It's a nice body combination here by Holyfield that seems to slow John down just a little Punch bit, but out. Come on. he's still coming Pull forward. Back. Right, step back, step back. Ruiz, very democratic, mixing it up, going to the head and body. Well, he certainly got the attention of the former undisputed champion, Evander Holyfield. There's that great jab again by Ruiz. It was a nice counter Punch attempt by out. Ruiz. He rocked out. on Holyfield's jab inside the fire right hand, but it was uh, off the target. Come on, you got work. That is really an effective jab Come by John Ruiz. It's pushing Holyfield back, and it's also setting up the right hand. Come on, punch your way out. Ruiz's Come strategy back. just lie on top of Holyfield, put his weight on him, weigh him down. Stand up. Okay, sit down, sit down. Gasoline. All right, my man. Johnny, it. listen, you gotta work the jab a little more, you understand? You're making this a walk for yourself. You don't need it. You don't need it, Johnny. Come on. Come on. John Ruiz trying to draw some fire from Holyfield. Counter, that left hook was low. Right hand over the top didn't land too well. Trying to draw Holyfield's fire and then fire. And there's a left hook to the body and a right hand which lands very cleanly on the jaw of Holyfield. The look in Holyfield's eyes is not what it usually is. I can tell you, something's off. Here's another look at John Reese coming in underneath. Throws the hook up top and the right hand over the top. Working that body, trying to stay on it. Keeping Holyfield on his heels. A very smart tech. Here we see it from the overhead in the pull down. Slip pull down uh, combination there. Ruiz said he definitely had to win the first three rounds. That's what he told us the other day. And if he wins this fight, he, th he said it'll have to be by knockout or decisive decision. The judges won't give him a close decision. I believe that's probably correct. I think that if, if this fight is close, they give it to Holyfield because Holyfield Tyson three is worth more money than any other fight out there right now. And you wonder, as Ruiz lands again off the top of Holyfield's head with the overhand right, if Holyfield gets too frustrated, if he'll start no, with Holy. the elbows and the forearms and the head. Punch your way out. He's been known to do that. Pull him back, pull him back. Ruiz injured his left hand a couple of months ago in a kitchen accident. He cut a tendon, but said it's a non-factor. Certainly no sign of it there with that left hook. Nice counter left hook by John Ruiz, laying off the top of Holyfield's head, but he needs to follow up the second shot. And a right hand like that. Oh, there's a right uppercut out of nowhere by Holyfield to the chin of Ruiz. Slows him down momentarily, but then he comes back. as if John Ruiz is following your keys to victory to the team. 
Well, you know, Steve, some of the things he, I think are pretty evident. With his style, he needs to do certain things. With Evander's style, he needs to compromise and neutralize certain things. And right now, he's doing a very good job of it. Now, Holyfield working to the jab. Ruiz just falls down. No holy. Again, the blame on Holyfield for pushing him down for the hold. Well, that looked like sheer exhaustion. Beautiful uppercut by Holyfield. Landed right, squarely right. on Somebody Ruiz's came. chin. No ill effects. We approach the final minute of round three. Terrific action but John Ruiz in control to this point. Holyfield's just not working hard. One other key was outworking him, and John Ruiz is outworking him. But can he sustain his pace for the 12 full round? That's huge. Ruiz out hustling Holyfield. Another John. question is, can Holyfield go 12 hard rounds if necessary? John Ruiz, nearly 10 years younger than Holyfield, who turns 38 in October. Good combination of the head by Holyfield and back paid Ruiz. Oh, a straight right hand by Holyfield that stuns Ruiz. He hurt Ruiz with that right hand. Ruiz is wrong. His chin is in question he, before. He's in trouble. Holyfield jumps on him. Let's see if he can finish him. 14 seconds to go in the third round. The tide has turned. Ruiz hanging on. Just a few more seconds and he makes it through the round. Stay on the outside. This is the range that's Holyfield. Watch him walk into a right hand. It's a beauty. That's not the range for John Ruiz in this fight. There's the right hand. He walks right into it over the jab. And that hurt him and it rocked him. And again, Holyfield doesn't punch like Tua, but he punches well enough. Watch his right hand. Right on the top of the temple. Ruiz holding on. You can see his legs are not under him. There is badly shaking. Ruiz was doing a great job the first three rounds, staying close to Holyfield, scoring effectively. As soon as he gave Holyfield some distance, it was a different story. Ruiz stunned. 20 seconds left in round three. He made it to the bell, but well, failed. We'll see now if John Ruiz is still hurt. Left right combination of the head by Holyfield. Holyfield He's coming to test. Him. Jab is scoring effectively now by Evander. And Ruiz backs up. A totally different Ruiz who has felt the power of Holyfield. Look how cautious Ruiz is now. But Holy's not working. Steve Holy should be on him. All over him. He's giving John time. Let's see if Holyfield... Puts on more pressure here. There's a straight right hand that scores by Ruiz. To Ruiz the turning the tie back. Why is Holyfield taking this tactic? Another Holyfield big right hand by John Ruiz. Holyfield had Ruiz where he wanted him, and then he lays back. He's not working, and I don't know what's going on, but he has evidently just... He, he almost looks out. like he's disinterested to a degree. There has to be a physical problem. Again, the right hand. Punching it out. It's Holyfield who suddenly becomes overly cautious when he had Ruiz in his pocket. I'm going to tell you, Steve, exactly what it looks like. It looks exactly like the Holyfield that fought Michael Moore the first time. It looks like he's having a problem with his heart or his breathing or something. Something inside him is not working properly. What an interesting development here in round four. Just when it looked like Holyfield had everything going for him, he stopped fighting. Come on, work, don't hold him. And really, there may be something wrong with him. Meanwhile, Ruiz backpedaling. He lit right here. A couple of left after the right. That wakes up Holyfield. 
The stiff left jab again by Ruiz. Now hold it, come on, work your way out. Work, step back. A very back. bizarre fourth round. Evander did not at any point in time during this round jump on John Ruiz to see if he had any cobwebs left. And now John Ruiz is putting some punches on him. And I can't wait for the end of this fight to find out if there was anything wrong with Evander Holyfield. Final seconds, round four. Holyfield letting Ruiz off the hook. Can you hold the mouth, please? Give me that Vaseline. Give me that sponge. How many sponge? You gotta throw punches, champ. You're making all the moves, you just ain't punching. We're gonna watch now. Evander Holyfield throws out a little bit of a lazy jab, and over the top of it comes a right hand. Lazy jab, there's a right hand. Now that one didn't land very cleanly, but I will tell you, three or four of them landed very cleanly and buckled Holyfield. Combination punches, baby. Combination punches. Go to the rhythm, Holy. Keep that head moving. Keep it moving. You can do it, Holy. You can do it, man. Holyfield doesn't look right. He seems to be holding back on throwing the right hand. He seems to be holding back on throwing a lot of things. It's pretty uh, early and pretty unusual in a heavyweight title fight to take off a fourth <laughs> round. Especially when you have your guy down. Well, not down, but almost down in the previous round and in serious trouble. No, don't hold him. Don't. Is this the night that Evander Holyfield finally gets old? John Ruiz now staying on the outside. Not a good place for him. He needs to be working behind that jab. He nailed him with the right, missed wildly with the left, Ruiz. Holyfield taking off just about the complete fourth round. Beautiful jab by John Ruiz. It was. He stuffed the shotgun jab, turning the jaw of Evander Holyfield. And he's been doing that with regularity. So far, number one is ahead of number two, surprisingly. Work out. Ruiz does like the jab to the body. Sometimes a dangerous move. Counter right hands over the top of Holyfield. Rock him with one before, but he's still thrown to that body. Punch! Punch to get out! Punch to get out, guys! Come on! That's it, that's Holyfield it. eating a lot of leather. Combination to the head. Holyfield looks exhausted. He looks exhausted. He looks like he's having a problem. There's a physical problem, Steve. There has to be. This is a specimen that we have seen summoning it up time after time in later rounds and longer, harder fights. Something's wrong. And he's not fighting Lennox Lewis or David Tua or Mike Tyson. He's fighting a relatively unknown John Ruiz. Who will be very known if he wins this fight. Break, break. Again, Ruiz sticking that left jab to the chin of Holyfield. But he's only throwing one, Steve. What he needs to do is throw a double, triple jab, and then fire the right hand over the top. Like that. There's a nice double jab, but no right hand. What do you want, everything? I do. There's a right uppercut on, on the inside by Holyfield. Ruiz ties Evander up. Come on, punch it down. John's out working, but he's not Come doing on, a lot. And Holyfield's just doing less. Break, step back, step back. A lot of holding and clutching going on right now. Right uppercut, a grazing blow by Ruiz. That's a straight right hand of the head of Holyfield. That was a blistering shot by the quiet man. Holyfield gonna try and steal the round here, but it's too late. Big finish for John Ruiz. You don't have to slug with this guy.
watch the jab. John Ruiz doubles that jab up, fires that jab. Before Holyfield can do anything, there's that, there's that shotgun jab we're talking about. Stuffs it before Holyfield can do much. On the inside, he tries to get an uppercut in here. But that's the jab that's been winning the round so far. Come on, babe. And when he hits you, hit him right back. Hit him right back immediately. Let's go. Come on. Right back. Right back. Yeah, yeah. It sometimes takes an extraordinary circumstance to bring out the best in Evander Holyfield. We described John Ruiz as a good guy earlier. Perhaps he doesn't want to antagonize the former champion too much. Just kidding. Round six underway. Holyfield just seems to be out of it. We talked about him being the ultimate overachiever. Sometimes overachievers, by their nature of the game, just will not look at their health first. Ruiz just walked into a... A left hook on the Punch temple to by Holyfield. Right, he shook that one step off much step. better, though, Steve. No wobbling, no bad legs. The end of round three, he was really shaken up, Ruiz. <laughs> Beautiful I'm right by Holyfield. But Holyfield couldn't finish him off, and then he took off the whole round four for some reason. We're not sure. It does seem like there may be something wrong with him. Again, time. stuffing that jab time. is Ruiz. Richard Steele calls go. time. On the field. There's some loose tape on the left glove of Ruiz. Mark Ratner, the head of the commission, tells us it's the first time in Nevada he's allowed fighters to wear different colored gloves, as you've noticed. Vander wearing designer gloves. Color coordinated to match. Awesome. Both made by Grant, though it's the same glove, just in different colors. Time in. Round six continues. The crowd trying to get behind Holyfield by Channing holding in unison. Left hook off the head by Holyfield. Punching it out. I think a left hook on the inside hurt John Ruiz a little bit. And then bullying tactics by Ruiz. What he's trying to do is stay inside the power shots. Jim Gray spoke with Don Turner, Holyfield's trainer, a moment ago, and Turner said, right, told back, Jim there's back, nothing back. wrong with the event. Wow. He couldn't fight a Lennox Lewis, a David Tua. Even a, a lesser fighter right now would give Holyfield all he wants. He just doesn't seem to have what it takes today. Right off the top of the head, glancing low by John Ruiz. He's got to get that one just a tad lower. There's that jab again in the right hand. He just stuffs it. Another one, two. Punch it out. Come on, your hands are free. No push. Right, step back. Here's a, a cut around the right eye of John Ruiz. Keep him up, sir. No holding. I'll tell you, I'd be willing to bet that came from heads clashing on the inside because Holy hasn't landed good clean shots other than the one in the second round or third round, excuse me, and big right hand was on the button. Break, step back. Keep him in front. Keep John Ruiz front. showing his grit and his toughness. You're not busy enough, Holy. You're losing every round, champ. You won one round. You understand that? Because you're white. This guy's bluffing you with that right hand. He's, he's hitting you with it every once in a while, but it's because you're waiting back on him. You got to boogie up. You got to get up there quick. Then work. Get up there quick. Work behind the jab. Get up there quick. Let your hands go. Come on, babe. Come on now. Then combination. That's all you need to do. Combination. Everything. Johnny, you gotta move, you gotta move, buddy. Hold this down, dude. Come on, champ, I'll be a champ and suck it up. Let's go. Suck Johnny, it up, just, suck it up, go, come on. Come on, move. suck it up, Johnny. Just move. Come on, suck it up, go, come on. Punch your move, punch your move. Blood first appeared under the right eye of John Ruiz halfway through round six. They were being very blunt in the Holyfield corner, telling 
the former champ, that he won only one round thus far. Well, that's how I have it, too. Five rounds to one. And uh, his corner's being incredibly honest with him. Online, the folks have Ruiz ahead. Four rounds to two. They give Holyfield rounds three and six. Big right hand there by Ruiz, but again, he has stopped the pressure, he's stopped the pace. One big shot, and then he's holding. Right uppercut by Holyfield, going back to the jab, missing with the overhand right. Ruiz sticking a straight left hand to the head of Holyfield. Come on, you guys. It's getting to the point where they separate, Ruiz steps in with a big jab, they hold. And it's a repeating set of sequences. There it is again. Time to get out. Ruiz came out blazing. Watch your head. Watch your head. I believe some of the adrenaline has disappeared from John Ruiz early in the fight, especially the very beginning. It's tiring a little bit. Some of the event has gotten to him, as well as that fast pace he put on. Holyfield doing a nice job blocking punches. He is pressing the attack, pushing Ruiz off of him, and digging to the body and wrapping his left hook around the head of Ruiz. Here's that shotgun jab by Ruiz again. One and done. Let's see if he offers up the right hand behind him. Work it out. Work it out. John's landed some pretty good right hands, but jab, jab, right hand. That's it. No hook, no uppercuts. No second right hand. There that. But that's it, and he holds. No need. He landed clean. Finish it up. Break. Stop back. Stop back. You know, he's winning the round by a little bit doing that, but he could be so much more convincing because Evander's not doing it. Ruiz now fighting in spurts. There's a big left hand by Holyfield off the chin of John Ruiz. Well, he's got a better jaw than I thought, Ruiz. He got he a nice left hook there. Holy starting to come on, but it's late in the round. He's got to close it out if he's going to win this round. Good counter punching by Holyfield. One of those shots might have been a little on the low side, as was that one. Look out again. The WWF tactics by Holyfield as he just shoves Ruiz to the canvas. John Ruiz is getting tired. Second time, okay? Second warning. Final seconds, round seven. An exhausted Ruiz lands with the hook. And then a right hand at the bell. Ruiz fighting on guts. Guess what you've been doing? You can't wait any longer. Breathe, breathe. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Spons. Nice job. Donnie, please move. Please move on this guy. Nice jab back. and move. Keep jab and move. Keep on. Okay, get that in there. Donnie, he's Show a nice sequence of Vander throwing a jab in the right hand, and he works with a big left hook. He finished it off. That's his big power shot. And even Ruiz said he's got to stay away from that big left hook. There he follows back with an uppercut on the inside. One of the better sequences. Here's the uh, slip slash toss to the ground. Holyfield just kind of throws them over. Uh, WWF type move. Dramatic stuff from uh, trainer Norm Stone in the corner of John Ruiz. Pleading for the quiet man to move for Jab and move. Let's see if he adheres to those instructions. Well, the jab was working in the first part of the fight. And always, always coming out now to fire. He's landing big. Holyfield jumping on Ruiz to begin round eight. Scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA Heavyweight Championship. Nice counter right hand by Ruiz, but he doesn't have the steam on it he had. Holyfield with more of a purpose here. Yeah, especially with the left. A counter right hand by Ruiz. And another one. What an exchange. Holyfield looking a lot more focused suddenly. The crowd gets behind him. But the energy level, Steve, it doesn't right, seem to be right. there. Keep it clean, keep it clean. That and his trunks are falling down very low. It, it is waiting. He started out strong and then heated up. 
Hurts will get out of there. Come on, you got a break. Step back. As we said before, this title may not mean on, a lot to a lot of people, break, step back, but as step you back, can see by front, this demonstration of the ring, it means a heck of a lot for these two fighters. Oh, he started out the round with some nice combinations, and then he just stopped. There's a nice right hand left hook, but he too is only Punch throwing one and two at a time. <laughs> the round's half over, no one's taking any real play here. Holyfield dictating the tempo here in round eight. You hold him, John. Let him go. Ruiz holding on the inside. Holyfield squirms away. Oh, he's looking at his nice left hook by John Ruiz. You can see Holy looking to set him, but his reflexes aren't reacting quick enough, and he's just a step behind where he needs to be. Right uppercut to the stomach by Holyfield. There's that left jab landing by Ruiz. But he has a bad habit of holding Holyfield after the punch. No real meaningful punches in that combination. Stop back, stop back. Holy's throwing them, but he's not throwing them with bad intentions. Beautiful left right combination by Ruiz, a countering right hand by Holyfield. He threw another right hand too. He's tried to throw a big left hook, missed badly. Break! Step back, step back, let him go. A quick but furious exchange. <laughs> big right hand Don't by Ruiz. Him, let him, let him, let him. To the jaw of Holyfield. Now. Make him chase you. Come on, we're in our rounds now. That right hand's not doing it. There's not two He's trying to counter you all the time with that right hand over the top. You gotta move away. The warrior trying to dig down and find what he needs to win. Coming back, rocking. He still has the experience, still knows what to do. It just seems his body can't do it. There twice trying to rock. And John Ruiz missing badly with that wild left hook. There you see again, he's trying to rock and roll. Rock on that right hand and roll back in with his own. Twice he tries it, but again, he's just a step behind in timing. In the past, Holyfield always knew how to make the proper adjustments during the fight. He would find a way to win. As Bobby put it, dig down deep. We'll see what happens here. We are into round nine, scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA heavyweight title. Evander's just not doing enough to win the rounds. Even though John's not winning the rounds big, he's, he's outworking it, Holy, and he's just not, there you see, he jabs his way in, lands a few things, they tie up. And again, it becomes a repeat of the same sequence. Holyfield uh, has come on recently here in this fight. How do you have it unofficially scored right now? Unofficially, I've only given Holy one round. And maybe there's maybe another round there that was close enough to give him, but I, I just don't see it. He's not working. His punches sometimes are a little bigger, but not enough of them. They're not landing as clean. He's missing the mark. I mean, it's a shame to watch this. The fight is actually boring. It's a heavyweight world championship. That should never be an adjective describing that type of fight. A great step back, step back. Time we talked about coming. the ring erosion, the possible Time. deterioration. Holyfield nearing age 38. Again, a problem with the, uh, the tape around the club of Ruiz. Get both of them again. Gabe Lamarca, his trainer, wrapping the tape around. Okay, 
Holyfield could be on his way to not having won in three consecutive fights. That would be unusual for this great warrior. But he said, if necessary, he'll fight until he's 50 years old to win an undisputed heavyweight title again. Right hand to the head. Uppercuts to the body by John Ruiz. John Ruiz landed some nice uppercuts and hooks and an overhand right. And a beautiful combination and to the head of Holyfield. And Holy finally offered back one punch in return. And even as he's backing up, Ruiz scoring with the left jab. Cut opening up again around the right eye no of Ruiz. Holding, no pushing. Break. Ruiz on the retreat, but landing effectively. Shots to the body by Holyfield. There's a big left hook, but that was partially blocked by Ruiz's forearm. Yeah, Ruiz is covering. There's a big right hand. But what he's doing is he's firing and ducking. And Holyfield's starting to time him, and he's going to walk into a rip, ripping right uppercut. Ruiz with a sudden burst of energy here in late round keep nine. Right, somebody, keep it clean, you guys. Keep it clean. Sticking the jab overhand right, right that scores by Ruiz at the bell. Big finish in the round for John Ruiz. Let's substantiate what Bonnie was talking about as we go inside the ropes. Well, Steve, over and over again, we watch John Ruiz work his way in, throw a nice combination, come in behind the jab, throw a few more and stop. Holy not offering much back, there's one. But in each one of these sequences, it's John Ruiz initiating and firing. Here we see it again, big jab. Over and over and over, several times around. Combination twice, or bing, 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 bing. Stop trying to ease your way up there. This guy's so tired, he can't hold up his hands, and you're easing your way up there. Okay. That's not necessary. Okay. Get them, I mean, hey, get them boogie enough. I mean, put some hurt on this guy. Early, let's go. Let's go. Round 10, <laughs> scheduled for 12. Holy's own corner imploring him to load up. Bing, 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 they said. That's a power combination. They're looking for him to load. Two, three, four, bang, bang, bang. Unload the big combinations and do it early. Holyfield had Ruiz in deep trouble at the end of round three. He couldn't put him away. There's Ruiz sticking and stuffing that left jab. And then he completely took off round four, did Evander Holyfield. And round five. He just couldn't finish Ruiz off. It looked as if there was something actually physically wrong with him. Or maybe his right hand. He was just holding back for some reason. But Don Turner, Holyfield's trainer, told our Jim Gray there's nothing wrong with Holyfield. Well, in all honesty, I don't think Don would tell us if there was. In the middle of a fight, I don't think he would risk that. that the information might get out and help John Ruiz or do anything to hurt Holy. Well, perhaps following the fight, we'll find out that there was something wrong. John Ruiz slipped and he blocked the big hook, and then he looked like his legs came out from him. It didn't look good. Yeah, all of a sudden, oh, oh, oh. he looks People a little out of it. Let's go. Oh, it was a low time, blow. Time. And Ruiz now staggers to the Holyfield corner. He hit him one side of the board. It was a pretty good shot. The fans think Ruiz is faking. If he is, he's a heck of an actor. You okay? You ready? The fans don't like it. Okay. Okay. The fighter is hit below the belt and can't continue in five minutes. He loses. You ready? You ready to continue? Richard let's Steele asked him if he's ready let's to go. go. Man, let's go. Well, Ruiz on shaky ground now after being hit below the belt. If Holyfield doesn't jump on him now, Steve, you know something's wrong. Regardless of what Don Turner says. I agree. And let's see what Ruiz has in him. Ruiz is the aggressor. But there's a big left hook by Holyfield, followed by a right hand and another left hook. But back comes Ruiz. Sticking the 
jab. Back comes Ruiz with the left jab. Ruiz's jab will have won this fight if he does get the decision, if he doesn't get knocked out. Don't hold him, don't hold him. Don't hold him. Break, break, step back, step back. So it looks like Ruiz looking to weather another problem. Oh, he feels his mouth is bleeding now, too. Holyfield trying to score with that wicked right Great, uppercut, step but step missing. Step back, step back. Again, the right uppercut, but raising combination to the head. Ruiz then playing a little possum comes back. He comes back, and Great, both of these back, fighters back, right now are at a fatigue point, and the fatigue is becoming a fact. Break, step back. Oh! They'll both be happy to hear the Let's bell. Go. You gotta use your jab, buddy. Come on, kick it, kick it. Come on, champ. Holyfield throws a real nice left hook here that appeared to be blocked by John Ruiz. Right here. Oh, and it wasn't. It was hit him on his head. You see, look at his right leg. His right leg does a little Leon Earl. It gets rubbery. A low blow. Right underneath. Wasn't that low. Wasn't that low. And you hear the fans reacting. They see it on the big screens. After the low blow, Holyfield lands a nice left hook. That one appeared better than the last one, but Let's go second. John reacts well, fires back. Into the championship rounds for the vacant WBA heavyweight title, round 11. Lennox Lewis chose not to face Ruiz previously, took Michael Grant instead, beat him easily. Some might say that was a wise decision after seeing Great. this. Stand back, stand back. Ruiz seems to be in control of this fight. The sense of urgency for Vander Holyfield should be at a maximum, should be at a premium. He should be letting it all hang out. He hasn't got but less than six minutes. You just never know what the judges are thinking, and Ruiz told us he's going to have to win this fight, if not by knockout, by decisive decision. That very well it may be You're the case. Great. Step back. Seven rounds to five would be one thing, but eight or nine rounds to two or three rounds or eight rounds to four would be, I think, clean enough. Come on, work it, break. Step back. Step back. Got his hands are free. That's more. Holyfield coming in. A close four to one favor. Some people thought the odds should have been much higher. John Ruiz, the only time he stepped up, we talked about Punch David Tua, that goes one thing, all that Holyfield's accomplished, four to one short. And Holyfield knows from being an underdog, he was a 30 to one underdog, as Punch Ruiz again. lands an overhand right to the head of right. Holyfield. Step back, step back, step back. Evander, a 30 to one underdog before the first fight with Mike Tyson, and we all know what happened there. There was a perfect example of John Ruiz's jab saving him defensively. He had it out there, hold his right hand, couldn't get around it, and it blocked the right hand. No, hey, Bobby, it's right. not that Ruiz has stunned or actually hurt Holyfield throughout the fight. It's just as if Holyfield has not really been in the fight for the most part. He's consistently outworked him, like there. You see him work his way in, throw the combination. Holy waits for him, waits for him, looks for one or two big ones. For whatever the reason, Steve, Holy just doesn't have it today. One of your keys to victory for the quiet man, outwork Holyfield. And he has done just that throughout. He has out-hustled the former champion. Break, step back, step back. He's desperate. Pull your arm back. Pull it back. Your hands are free. Moving very slowly, very deliberately now. He's going to have to rely on a dramatic finish. 
It will have to be one of the most dramatic finishes in history. And he's never had a 12th round knockout. Holyfield's daughters. And very concerned. Twelfth round coming up. Three minutes. Three minutes. That's the final round. Three minutes. You gotta go with everything for three minutes, Evander. You gotta get on the body. One, two, three, four. Every time you every time you go to the body, you hurt him, he cries like a baby to the referee. You gotta fight. You gotta fight. Just keep your left hand up and your head moving on the way up. All he's got is that right hand. That's it. And he ain't got that. Stop trying to counter punch him. Come on, look at me. Come on. Come on. Well, huh? Come on, Johnny, last round. Nothing stupid box. You can't kill this guy. They were all giving advice to Holyfield, Ken Weldon, Don Turner, and Tim Hallmark. Let's see if it pays off. The quiet man's fans back in Chelsea, Massachusetts, must be making a lot of noise tonight. Don Turner said something very smart. Stop trying to counter him, because that means you got to wait for John to lead. You got to lead. You got to take the play away. You got to deliver and land first. Twelfth and final round for the vacant WBA heavyweight championship. They're gonna have to stop it again because of the loose tape. Let's go, you guys. Real good, real good. It's the real third fast. or fourth time it's happened. Ash Benson Holyfield has never had a 12th round knockout in his professional career. It looks like he's going to need one turn? tonight to win this fight. You know, many years ago, John Tate fighting Mike Weaver. John Tate dominating the fight. He got knocked out in the last round with just a minute okay. or so to go. Time. John Ruiz, one and one, when the fight has gone the full 12 rounds, losing to. Danell Nicholson in 94, a win over Jimmy Thunder in 97. I saw the Nicholson fight, I thought Ruiz won, I thought he was robbed, but that's the way it goes sometimes. The judge's eyes or the judge's decisions are final. Ruiz looking very sharp here, a lot of movement. And he finally throws. Holyfield not doing anything, and he needs to desperately. What is he waiting for? <laughs> Being pushed back by that effective right, back, Ruiz jab. There's two minutes left. And Holy has not made a, the most of that first minute. Win or lose, right. Holyfield said earlier front. here, front. he will not retire after this fight. I think a bare minimum of what right. he'll need to do after this let's is go, come, go, come go, back go. just to prove that this was another clue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And that could be a mistake and very detrimental to his health. A lot of people are calling for his retirement right now, even before this fight. I wish he looked like this when I fought him, Steve. Good luck. No Holy. Halfway through the final round. Watch out, boy. John Ruiz may be a minute 20 and counting away from being a heavyweight champion. Holy trying. You can see him swinging hard and trying. John Ruiz just trying to put his head down and get out of harm's way. A little over a minute left. People outside Chelsea Mass. No, nope. is he calling it a, a knockdown? No, no, he waved it off. But there's blood on the face of Ruiz. Ruiz is exhausted. All he needs to use is that jab. Stop that jab. Step with it. There he goes. Step with the jab. But he is so tired, Steve. I know how it feels. All Ruiz has to do is stay away. And he's got it. The bloody Ruiz. Oh, hold on, watch him. Holyfield getting dirty. Give him a little elbow for him right in the nose. Ruiz hanging tough against the onslaught of Holyfield. 25 seconds. Oh, hold on. What a sense of urgency for Holyfield. Keep your head. He's got to put Ruiz away. Right, right, right. Seemingly to win the fight. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, Ruiz. Oh, he'll win the last round, Steve, but that's it. It is all over. Right.
many people outside Chelsea, Massachusetts, and perhaps Puerto Rico would have thought that John Ruiz would hold the world heavyweight title. It may happen. It should happen. Steve, we talked about the catch-22. If Ruiz beats Holyfield, I don't think any fighter here, neither of these fighters, up their stock tonight. You they should be ashamed plummeted. of yourself. Good show, Johnny. Good show. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Johnny, great job, man. Johnny, great you, should, you should be ashamed of yourself. You didn't give him any more. Look at the thing. You should be ashamed of yourself. Norm Stone so really giving it to Richard Steele. It's about the elbows and the forearms. Holy slammed a few in here. One of them started John's nose, me, John's nose bleeding. Tell me what you do. And tell me exactly how it would end up. Yeah, thank you, man. That's exactly what they said. You do that. Exactly. Fucking kid fights his heart off. You can't take a point away. You're scared. Norm Stone complaining to referee Richard Steele for not taking a point away for the roughhouse tactics by Evander Holyfield. He's fuming at Steele. And Steele, a guy who's known to do that. We've seen that many times. We've seen him disqualify guys for doing that kind of stuff. But he's not about to do it in this kind of fight. So we await the decision. It's in the hands of Fernando Viso of Venezuela, Dwayne Ford, Vegas, Dave Moretti, Las Vegas. Yeah, take a look at some of those roughhouse tactics that they were complaining about. When Holy comes in, there's a little shove with the shoulder. That one might have been low, I don't know. But nah, nothing really bad there. Here's a little extra in slow motion. Oh, by the way, take this elbow in your face with you. Yeah, a little chicken wing in the face. That was, uh, that was blatant. That was very blatant. Ruiz complaining to Richard Steele. Jimmy Lennon Jr., our ring announcer, is ready with the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here in Paris, Las Vegas, we go to the scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside, Fernando Viso scores about 116 to 112. Judges Dwayne Ford and Dave Moretti both score them out 114 okay. to 113. All three in favor of the winner. And now the four-time heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Incredulous, absurd, ridiculous. Steve, I always talk about agendas. No better a picture can be painted for an agenda than Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, for the trilogy to be completed. Ain't nobody can stop it. That was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What a stinker of a decision.